Hey guys, this is Dimitri with Joe's Gaming and Electronics and in today's video I'm going to show you how to replace a trackpad on your MacBook model A2338. So all the tools that you're going to see me using in this video, we do have them available on our website. The link will be down in the description as well as Apple MacBook parts. We do sell those on our website as well and we do provide a mail and repair service so if you have any issues with your macbook like physical damage or anything along those lines you can go ahead and fill out a repair form on our website and send it in for a repair so for first things first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead flip the macbook over and we're going to go ahead and use a uh, P5 bit, we do sell a toolkit on our website that has all the bits that you would need to do any MacBook repair. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the six back cover screws. Once all screws are removed from the back cover, we're gonna go ahead and use our pry tool with a plastic clip. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just pry this one end up just so that we could get this plastic clip underneath once we got it go ahead and slide it to the side right here so that you could unclip it there now we're gonna go ahead and go to this side unclip it there and then bring it all the way down here and we're just gonna go ahead and lift it up so that it unclips from the middle once that is done go ahead set that aside and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just grab the back cover and we're going to pull towards ourselves to release the back cover from the Mac. Once we've done that, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our plastic spudger. We're going to go ahead and disconnect this ribbon right here like so. And with our T5 screwdriver, we're going to remove the center screw. And we're gonna go ahead, lift this ribbon up just a little bit and go ahead and open your MacBook and press and hold the power button for five seconds to drain any power that is left in the MacBook so that we don't cause any shorts or fry anything. Once that is complete, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove these two screws with our T5 screwdriver. Go ahead and remove the plate and with our plastic spudger we're going to go ahead and disconnect the trackpad from the motherboard like so. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and remove the trackpad screws. All the trackpad screws are located right here. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed with removing those. If you look here, I do have two screws right there, two screws right there, and two down below. Those are not part of the trackpad. Do not touch those. Once we removed the other screws that you saw, we're going to go ahead and just open up the MacBook. And the trackpad should be right there. We're going to go ahead remove the old one when you remove your old trackpad usually if you get new trackpads they don't have these little brackets right here so you're gonna want to go ahead and take them off your old one and put them on the new one these are really important because without these you're not gonna have that clicking function on your MacBook so make sure that you install these as well as the little o-rings so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and feed this right underneath the battery and through
once we've closed the MacBook, just go ahead and kind of readjust it. Make sure that on the trackpad, all the screw holes are lined up like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install all the screws, but we're not gonna tighten them all the way. The shortest two go at the very bottom. We're just kind of threading them in so that they're on there, but we're not tightening them up. And I'll explain that here in a little bit. All right, so once we put all the screws down, if you notice, I did not tighten them. And that is because we want to make sure that the track pad is lined up. So we're going to go ahead and flip this over. Make sure that the trackpad is lined up and we're just going to go ahead and get underneath where we have where we put the two short screws and we're going to go ahead and tighten those up just a little bit. Inspect, make sure that the trackpad is <clears throat> even and level once it looks good. We're going to go ahead and do the two screws that are up top. Make sure you're holding the trackpad in place when you do this. Once we've done that, go ahead, double check. It looks good. So we're going to go ahead, close it, flip the MacBook back over. We're going to go ahead, tighten up the bottom ones that we tightened up first and then do the top ones and then go ahead and work your way through all the screws. Once we've done that, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug in our trackpad. Should just clip in there once we've done that go ahead and grab your little ribbon cover and the last thing that we're gonna do here before we put the back cover on is we're gonna go ahead and plug this ribbon back in Once you got it plugged in, go ahead and push down this bracket to lock it into place. Once we've done that, <clears throat> we are ready to install the back cover. So for the back cover, you want to make sure that you have it all lined up and you kind of want it laying flat on the MacBook. What we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead, line it up and we're going to push the back cover on. And when you do try to lift it right here, you should feel a little bit of resistance. That means it is hooked on the hinges. So we're gonna go ahead, push this side in. And we're gonna go here, push that side in. Make sure that it's in on both sides. And then we're gonna push on the outsides. You'll hear it clip. And then we're gonna push in the middle. You should hear it fasten. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and install the back cover screws. The longest screws go where you only have two points at the very top. And then the second longest screws go on the outside, on the corners at the bottom. And then the two shorties go right in the middle. Once you've done that, you have successfully completed
the trackpad repair on your Apple MacBook model A2338. And once again, guys, all the tools that I used, we do have them available on our website. The link will be included down in the description below, as well as parts. We do sell all kinds of Apple MacBook parts. We have them available on our website and we do provide and offer a mail-in repair service. So if you're uncomfortable doing the repairs yourself and you want somebody who is more confident in doing the repairs, you can go ahead and fill out the repair form on our website and send your MacBook in for a repair. Thanks for watching.